Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So today, I want us to have another retcon discussion. I want us to talk about another retcon that has been noticed, and that is a grim retcon. So there was actually a retcon that was brought up about the Grimm within Volume 4, and I wanted us to just kind of jump into it and discuss it. So sit back, relax, I hope you all enjoy, and let's go ahead and jump right on into this discussion. So, the Grimm. These creatures are present around Remnant, and obviously these creatures are something that attack humans. And obviously, hunters and huntresses train one reason to actually fight against these creatures, so that obviously they will not harm others. And, of course, they are attracted by negative emotions. So once a negative emotion is detected, they go and attack people. So that's one thing we definitely know about the Grim. Now, one thing that's kind of off, though, when it comes to the Grim was a story that Crow told in Volume 4. And as much as I like Crow... There was just one problem with the story that he told, and it actually has to do with the Brother Gods. And, of course, we have known how the Grimm had acted and been beforehand whenever it came to World Remnant, but the story that Crow stated is very different to me. It's very off to me, and I've already expressed one reason as to why, but the Brother God story is actually pretty off. And there are multiple reasons, not just the whole Ospin's curse of being reincarnated, not just that, that is not the only thing that the Brother God story does that actually is a problem here, but we have one other problem that has to do with the Brother Gods whenever it comes to creations. Because when you look at the Brother of Darkness, if you look at that brother, there is one thing that's very off. I mean, yes, he created the Grimm from what Crow stated within this story. But there is certainly one thing that's off about the Grimm that Crow states, and this is what he mentions. He says that something that shared his innate desire to destroy anything and everything, and obviously Ruby realizes that this is the Grimm. Now, if you find that to be a bit odd, or if you may not even notice what that may mean, here's the thing that this becomes a problem, is that it's stated that the Brother God himself of Darkness created the Grimm, and they were obviously created to destroy everything. So, that sounds a bit off. Now, you're probably thinking, how does that actually sound off? Well, this actually sounds off in comparison to World of Remnant and what it actually discusses, because what World of Remnant taught us, and it established this, is that the Grimm attack humans, not structures, not buildings, not other animals, specifically humans and the subspecies of Faunus. So the Grimm target out humans and Faunus. That is exactly what they target out. They go based upon negative emotions, which of course lead to humans and Faunus, because obviously they feel these negative emotions. They have never been attacking regular animals. They have never attacked structures. They have never attacked buildings. That was never their primary target, and as a matter of fact, they don't do these things. But yet, for it to completely change within the story, and say that instead of them specifically targeting out humans, they just go and destroy anything and everything, this is a pretty bad retcon, because this goes against everything that was being taught when it comes to World of Remnant. Because World of Remnant just established that it was one specific thing they attacked, not everything and anything. So, of course, when we actually look at it like this, this shows the retcon here is that this is just in favor more of the gods now, trying to be more in the god's story, and basically stating that the god of darkness had, you know, put his desires to destroy everything and anything into the Grimm, which was never there before, and the gods were never originally the idea behind the Grimm. Now, of course... Did it mean that it could have been a bad thing? Well, not necessarily, considering we never knew the origin of where the Grimm specifically came from before Volume 4. But things could have been done differently, and of course, for them to say, oh yes, by the way, they are under the desire of what the God of Darkness wanted, that's not accurate at all, considering that they have been established to just attack certain things, which would be humans. Now, this isn't to say that establishments, structures, constructs would not get attacked and damaged by the Grimm, but that's because they would specifically attack the humans, which they could probably push them into a wall, they could probably ram them through something. You know, that does not mean that their target was the structure itself. It was actually the human that they were attacking. So the Grimm never had a target of buildings or constructs or any of these sort of things. Their target were humans and Faunus. That was the whole intended target. 
of what the Grimms were established to attack. And now, of course, to sit here and change this and say, oh yes, they have the desire of the God of Darkness, and obviously just go ahead and just attack everything, that's inaccurate, because they have been established, and they have been shown to specifically attack humans. Now, that's why there's a problem here, and I don't know if any of you notice this retcon, but this is something that the story of the Brother Gods also created a retcon for. But anyways, let me know what you think down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, hit the video with a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And share this with your friends if you found this informative or useful. Well, anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.